We would like to welcome each elder students all around the world. We welcome po natin ang LRC Davao, LRC Takorong, LRC Alain, LRC Dubai, LRC Abu Dhabi, and very soon LRC Southern California. Welcome, welcome po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. And we are so blessed po na ngayong gabi ito ay pagkakaklaman na naman po tayo para purihin at sambahin yung pangalan ng ating Panginoong Jesus. And right after our praise and worship is makakarinig po tayo ng isang malamang mensahe mula po sa ating um, ating Reverend Reverend Bobby Dakel. Kaya hindi po na po namin papatagalin pa lang po. Excited na po kayo na purihin at sambahin yung pangalan ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Kaya palakpang po natin ang Diyos sa buhay ng LRC Abu Dhabi Worship Team.
punong-puno ng pagmamahal, punong-puno ng pasasalamat sa dakilang Diyos na hindi nagbabago, sa Diyos na makapangyarihan, sa Diyos na mapagpanghawal. Lord God, accept our praises to you alone, Lord God, because you deserve the highest glory. You deserve the highest honor. You are magnificent, God. You are majestic, God. You are all-powerful, God. And tonight, Lord, we just want to give and express our love to you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Come on, brothers and sisters. Come on. Sa lugar mo. I encourage you, brothers and sisters, to pray tonight. Let's start this with a grateful heart. Our God is a God who never changes. Our God is faithful. Our God is true to His promises. So right now, praise and give glory to the Lord. Yo! Yeah. 
power of the Holy Spirit, Lord God, to move in the midst of us wherever we are, Panginoon. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to give you glory and honor. Thank you so much, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Again, it's a Friday, uh, oh, sorry, it's a Sunday night uh, prayer meeting service. Magandang magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Good evening po sa ating mga viewers. Kung meron man tayong mga viewers outside UAE, good morning po dyan sa Pilipinas right now. At kung sa mga banda ng uh, mundo tayo na doon, magandang magandang gabi po, magandang araw, magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Okay? We are so blessed sa ating worship uh, team kanina. Ano po? Palakpan nga po natin yung ating praise and worship. Talaga po nakaka-bless, nakaka-miss yung magpala, uh, mag-worship sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen? So again, good evening po sa LRC Abu Dhabi. Lahat po ng mga tiga Abu Dhabi. Palakpan ka naman dyan. Ayan. Lahat po ng mga tiga Abu Dhabi. And then LRC Dubai with uh, Sister Myra and Brother Milo. Ayan. Magandang magandang gabi dyan. And then LRC LA with Pastor Jomar and Pastora Uh, Marisa, no, ang ating mga leaders dyan NRC Dabao kay uh, Pastor Pay and then sa Takurong po kay Pastor Joel at kay Pastor Down then kay Pastor uh, Iris at kay Sister Lovely Flo dyan sa US no? Good morning, good evening nasaman tayo, magandang magandang araw po sa gabi nito sa oras na ito, good, thank you so much once more for viewing with us at salamat po because nandito na naman tayo for another Friday service Ah, sorry, sa, ba't ba Friday ako ng Friday? Sunday service, uh, uh, live streaming, uh, prayer service, ayan. So, sige po, ngayon pong gabing ito, ngayon pong ngayong gabing ito, napaka-special po ng gabing ito because one time, uh, nasabi po ako sa ating mga leaders na lahat po nang maririnig yung mensahe tonight, isulat ko po. Kung meron po kayong ball pen, meron kayong book notes right now, make it ready, prepare, and write it down. Kasi po lahat po ito, is i-discuss po natin sa ating mga cell group. No? Ito po yung ating mga topic na. So tayo po, nililig ni Lord for another series of prayer uh, uh, subjects, prayer lessons. So maganda po na mag-prepare po tayo lahat because ito po ay eh, magiging topic ninyo sa inyo inyong mga cell group. Okay? So I would like to uh, welcome also lahat po ng ating mga viewers right now. Ayan, na Pastor Jomar, magandang gabi sa'yo. Ayan, ang ating mga ang mga uh, nagbubiyo sa ating uh, live streaming, si Brother Roderick, Sister Myra ng Dubai, Brother Rick Rod uh, Roderick Medina, si uh, Sister Lilibet Dison, ayan, Sister Lorena, yung mga nandito sa center. Thank you so much for viewing us. Elaine Joy, ayan, sa, 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 ano, sa ating uh, uh, LRC Elaine, ayan, si Jason, oh, Brother Jason, kamusta na? Namimiss ka na namin. Si Sister Angelica Ruar, thank you so much for viewing. At uh, dalangin ko po, mga kapatid, na tayo po lahat is mag-tag. Na po, itag po natin again yung ating uh, uh, live streaming. Uh, uh, ito po, itong ating live na, na ginagawa right now. Itag nyo po yung inyong mga kaibigan. Amen? Yung inyong mga friends. And I want you right now to, to comment, please. Again, mag-comment po tayo lahat. Sabihin nyo po sa akin where you are watching right now. Come on, everybody. I want to see that. Where you are watching right now. Para po yung ating uh, link. Yung pong ating uh, live streaming is mag-spread po around um, uh, where you are right now. Sige po, I want to see that. Thank you, Brother Anthony. Brother Anthony, nasa war. Gosh, siya pa yung una nag-comment. Thank you. Sister Marilyn, good evening. Brother Joko, good evening. Uh, Brother Hernani, good evening. Raymond uh, Garcia, kay good evening. Thank you so much for watching. Sige po, please uh, comment and write it down where are you watching this moment para po makita ng mga tao yung ating pong live streaming na ginagawa. Okay? Thank you so much po, Lord. Pagpalain mo lahat ng mga nagko-comment. Amen? Pagpalain niyo po, Panginoon. Alright? So, I would like also to, uh, to say that tonight po, uh, as I mentioned, so, uh, na tayo po lahat is nandito, hindi lang po, hindi lang po purpose na tayo po'y manalangin, no? Tuwing Sunday night po, tayo po'y nagtuturo about prayer, what is the, uh, what is the benefits of prayer, why we need to pray, No po, consistently. Ito po yung mga bagay na ating natututunan every Sunday night po. So we have here right now, not only to pray for your needs, not only to, to ask the Lord to bless you, but most of all, tayo po na andito to learn more about prayer. So tonight po, tayo po yung merong mga topic na sisimulan, at ito po yung pag-pray natin, na ito po yung magtuloy-tuloy. 
para po magawa natin ng maayos at matutunan po natin really maipasa natin sa mga family, sa ating mga friends no po, what is all about this word prayer ano ba itong prayer na to ano ba talaga no? so the title of the Lord's message for tonight is nilagay ko po dito na determination to pray ayan, determination to pray pagpapasya na magdasal bakit po marami pa sa atin most especially yung mga first timers no po? yung ating mga Uh, viewers right now na hindi pa naman talaga matagal ng mga believer, talaga bang determinado sila na mag-pray sa Panginoon? Tama ba? Meron ba silang determinasyon na manalangin, na tumawag sa Panginoon, na bigyan ng panahon ng pagdarasal? So starting tonight, we will see if the Lord will give us the opportunity, as I said earlier, to make this a series and learn more about the reasons why we need to pray, why we need to communicate, why we need to talk. No? So tonight, ano ba talaga mga reasons? Why we need to pray? Ito po yung sabi ko. Reasons for prayer. Alright? So, nandito po tayo right now. Pag-aaralan po natin to. And I believe, lahat kayo ready right now. Take your book notes, your ball pens, and take notes for this. Because again, ito po yung magiging topic natin sa ating mga self group. Amen? So, let's pray. Let's bow down our head and close our eyes right now. I would like to uh, ask everyone to please close your eyes. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, thank you so much once more muli. Sa gabi ito, Panginoon, Holy Spirit, I ask you, Lord, to dwell in our midst right now. Uh, continually, Lord God, to bless us, to open our eyes and ears for the message that you're giving us tonight. Panginoon, I pray that you will speak in behalf of your people, Panginoon, and Holy Spirit, fill everyone right now. Kayo po, Lord, na gumipo sa bawat puso, sa bawat uh, tao na nanonood na nakikinig sa mensaheng ito. Bless you po ang aking mga labi, Panginoon. Kailangan po makita, kayo marinig. Tago niyo po ako sa inyong likuran. At pabayaan niyo, Panginoon, na inyong word, ang inyong mensahe, is maramdaman muli namin tonight, Lord God. Salamat po, Lord God. Uh, again and again, we will claim the victory, Lord, every time na meron kami ganitong gawain because we know that you are there, ready to guide us, ready to bless everyone, Lord God, at ready to open their spiritual and ears para po matuto kami sa inyong mga salita. Salamat po, Panginoon, for tonight. Thank you so much. We will continue to bless your name, to lift up your name, to glorify your name in our midst. In Jesus' name. And everyone amen. will say, Amen. Amen and Amen. Ayan. Alright. So maraming maraming salamat. Meron tayong 113 viewers right now. Ayan. Thank you so much everybody. Gusto ko lang po encourage kayo na wag po kayo mawawala every Sunday. Kung di po kayo nawawala ng Friday, wag din kayo mawala ng Sunday. Kasi po dito po, marami tayong matututunan. Hindi lamang tayo magpe-pray na kagaya ng dati. But right now, we will learn what is the, the things about the word prayer. Ano ba yung prayer na yan? Ano ba talaga? So marami po tayong gusto matutunan about that prayer. no? So let me start the message by saying, kahit sa kahit saan kapag galing parte ng mundo, kahit saan kapag galing, kahit sa tigasaan ka pa, kahit anong country ka pa, no? kahit ano pang paniniwala at pananampalataya meron ka, lahat po tayo, ikaw at ako, may kakayahang mag-pray. Tama? Lahat po tayo, majority of people around the continent knows how to pray. No, bakit ko po nasabi yan? Bakit ko nasabi? Yung iba kasi, marunong naman mag-pray. Aras mo, tamad lang sila mag-pray. No? Bakit ko nasabi that majority of people no po, is around the continent now has to pray? Kasi po ito yung sabi ko, prayer is an inborn nature in a human being. Bakit ko po nasabi yan na ang isang ang naang panalangin is inborn nature na sa isang tao. Bakit po? Na, lahat tayo may kakayang magdasal. Inborn ability na yan ng lahat ng tao. But the only problem is kanino ang tumatawag tayo nagdarasal? Tama po ba? Lahat ng tao marunong magdasal. Pero kanino sila nagdarasal? What, who is the object of their prayer? So people may not pray to the one true God. No? Maaring nagdarasal sila pero hindi naman talaga doon sa totoong Diyos na buhay. They may pray to an idol. Di ba? They may pray to their ancestors. And they may even pray to themselves. We don't know. No po? Ang mga tao po marunong mag-pray. Kanya-kanyang prayer yan. Pero po, yung object ng prayer, tama ba o mali? Tama po ba? Tama ba na sila yung nananalangin sa isang Diyos na, uh, na nabuhay, na kinikilala natin Diyos? Tama? But one thing is for sure, no? One thing is for sure tonight. Everybody prays. Lahat po marunong manalangin. No, again, but ko na sabi to, first and foremost, listen to this, because we were made according to God's image. Okay? Lahat po ng tao, kahit na anong paniniwala mo, kahit na anong uh, faith meron ka, kahit na tigasaan ka pa, 
Lahat po tayo were, uh, uh, were um, uh, made according to God's image. Lahat po tayo. So, tandaan niyo po, lahat ng tao ginawa ng Diyos according to His own image. Kaya po, ang mga tao may ability talaga na manalangin. Meron po silang abilidad na magdasal. Okay? Do you agree with that? And we were, we were given this ability to communicate to God. Ito pong ability natin na manalangin is communication natin supposed to be sa Diyos. Tayo lang na mga nilalang ng Diyos ang binigyan ng kakayahan ng Diyos na magdasal. Okay? Remember this. Cat, don't pray. Tama? Dog, don't pray. Lion, tigers, elephant, giraffe, they don't pray. Hindi po sila nananalangin. Ang mga hayop po na kinrate ng Diyos, hindi po sila nagdarasal. Only human beings was given the opportunity to talk and communicate to our Creator. Tayo lang po ang binigyan. Tayo lang mga tao ay may takayahang makapag-communicate sa ating Creator. And all the creation of God in this universe, no? In all the creation of God in the universe, tao lang, human being, ikaw at ako, ang may abilidad na magdasal. Okay? Tandaan nyo po, prayer is our greatest privilege as a person. And it is our greatest responsibility. Bakit po natin sinabing privilege at may responsibility? Tama, kasi nga, sa lahat ng creator ng creation ng Diyos, tayo lang ang may kakayahan at may abilidad na manalangin. A greatest responsibility natin to. Bakit ko sinabing greatest responsibility? Because our creator will create to you and to me ang gusto niya makipag-communicate tayo sa kanya. Tama? Responsibilidad mo to. Lalo na ngayon na ikaw isang believer na. Alam mo na ang katotohanan. You know the word of God. Kasi nga, gusto ng ating creator na uh, kausapin natin siya. Because all he wants from you and me is a relationship. Tama ba? Ang gusto ng Diyos magkaroon ng relationship sa'yo. Relationship to me, relationship to you, relationship to every one of us, to all human beings. Okay? Hindi po kasi reliyon ang talagang kinrate ng Diyos for us. Ang gusto niya po, relationship with this, uh, create, uh, creation, no po, tayong mga tao. Kaya nga, sa mga darating na Sunday night, no po, titingnan natin. Kung ba, paano pa natin gagawin ng mga bagay uh, para po itong patungkol sa panalangin is ma-level up para tayo para po lahat ng tao matuto ng tamang panalangin. Lahat po tayo ma-encourage. Magkaroon tayo ng determination to pray. No? So we gotta learn how to pray in different kinds of circumstances. No po? Lahat tayo. Tingnan natin na, at pag-aaralan natin yung, po, yung mga barriers to prayer. Marahin po tayo niya kasi po yung books na binabasa. No? Then some of the ways how to see God's answer prayers. O paano ba sinasagot talaga ng Panginoon yung mga prayer natin? No? Some of the ways to be persistent in our prayers. Amen? Ano ba yung mga ways para maging persistent tayo? So ito po mga bagay na ating pag-aaralan sa mga darating pang Sunday nights. Kaya please encourage everyone no po, na tangkilikin po natin itong Sunday night. Kasi po, marami po tayong matututunan dito. So let them know na hindi lang tayo basta-basta nagdarasal dito, nag-aaral din tayo ng salita ng Diyos. Okay? Learning at the same time that the pattern of prayer na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Okay? So not only that, these topics are very good for yourself as I said earlier. Mapag-uusapan natin na maganda to, maganda kung ikaw ay loaded ng kaalaman para kapag natanong ka, alam mo ang isasagot mo. Right? Amen? Now, firstly, do you know that prayer is God's idea? Alam niyo po ba na ang prayer is idea ng Diyos para sa ating lahat? And whether you like it or not, God created you and me to pray. Parte po ito ng buhay ng isang tao. Dapat lahat tayo nagdarasal. Hindi nga lang tayo pare-parehas na pinag a ng prayers natin ay sa said earlier. Pero po, some people pray to idols as I said earlier. Ay iba naman kapag nagdarasal at tinatawag nila, makapatay na nilang ancestors, as I mentioned earlier. But we, follower of Christ, we pray to the living God. Tama? Our Creator, our Healer, our Provider, our Savior, our Heavenly Father. Yung po yung ating subject at yung po yung ating, uh, doon po tayo nagpe-pray. Doon po sa buhay na Diyos. No po? Now, kung tutusin naman, prayer is so simple lang naman talaga. No po? Very simple lang naman ang prayer. That even a child can do it. Tama? Do you believe in me? That even a child can pray. We all know that even a small child can utter a prayer. Tama? 
So bakit po may mga taong hindi naman bata but doesn't know how to pray? Buti pa ang mga bata marunong mag-pray pero tayo po nung may edad na hindi marunong, no? Sometimes we have a hard time what to say. Ano ba talaga yung pagpapray natin? Sometimes naman we wonder what kind of prayers God answers. Tama? Hindi natin alam ano ba yung tamang prayer para sa kutin ni Lord. What kind of things can we pray about? Tama? Or how do I know kung narinig ba talaga ni Lord yung mga prayer ko? Hindi. How do I know if God really cares all to all my needs? Tama? And what is the secret to answer uh, prayer? Ano ba yung mga sikreto para masagot yung ating prayer? So, alam nyo po, susubukan po natin na pag lahat yan sa mga darating na Sunday para po maging maganda yung mga topic natin sa ating mga cell group. Ito po yung purpose natin. Kaya po, in my part, no, I'm asking the Lord to provide the needs na kailangan natin para po maituro ko sa inyo lahat. Para po matakal natin ng maayos itong prayer na to Kasi po, a, pre, a, a family or a church that prays together, stays together. Alam natin yan. So, dapat po lahat tayo marunong manalangin. Dapat po, in one accord tayo sa ating mga panalangin. So, titignan natin kung paano manalangin sa gitna ng crisis. Tama? Meron ba mga tao na sa gitna ng crisis na nanalangin? We gonna learn how to pray for a breakthrough. Ano ba yung mga breakthrough? Paano ba tayo magkakaroon ng breakthrough about prayer and fasting? O bakit natin kailangan manalangin persistently? Kaya sa, sa totoo lang, sometimes, ang tagal ng mga sagot ni Lord, isang linggo, isang buwan, isang taon, naghihintay tayo ng prayer, and, be, and because of that, sumusuko tayo. Kailangan ba talaga tayong sumuko kapag po tayo nanalangin at hindi sinasagot ni Lord yung ating prayer? Pa, talaga bang hindi sumasagot sa prayer o hindi niya lang sinasagot yung mga gusto mo? Tama po ba? Remember, ang prayer po, hindi about you. Hindi about sa gusto mo, yung gusto ng Diyos. Amen? So, but sa mga darating na Sunday night po, kung talaga mag-take notes lang tayo at tututo, marami po tayong matututunan. Marami kang matututunan simula sa gabi ito. At lalo kang magkakaroon ng confidence to pray and with greater faith than before. Promise ko sa iyan, focus ka lang. Amen? Amen po ba? So, ano ba ang layun, layunin ng panalangin? What is the reason why we are praying? Ano ba yung purpose na ating prayer, no? Bakit tayo nagdarasal? At bakit importante sa Panginoon na tayo ay magdasal? Bakit po importante sa ating Creator? Gaano katagal at gaano ba kahaba ang mga prayer natin? Now, remember this, what I said earlier, that prayer is God's idea. Lagi niyo po tatandaan, ang prayer is idea ni God. Tama? Sa Kanya po galing yan. Because if He don't want to hear from you, okay, kung hindi gusto ng Panginoon na marinig ka, He will not invite you to pray. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, may establish yung ating relationship, communication through our prayer. At sabi ko po nito, God wants to hear from you because what? Because He loves you. Tama mo ba? Kapag tayo may mahal sa buhay, mga anak mo, asawa mo na sa Pilipinas, ka-relationship mo, kaibigan mo, di ba namimiss natin? Gusto natin sila makausap. Why? Because God loves you. Mahal ka ng Panginoon, kaya ang gusto niya is makausap ka niya. And He cares about everything critical in your life. At wala pong malaki at maliit po rin sa attention sa buhay mo. Wala pong malaking bagay at maliit na bagay para sa attention sa buhay mo. Lahat kaya pong uh, hawakan ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Kung babasahin niyo po ang book of John, chapter 14 to 16, Jesus was giving His final instruction to His disciples. No? John 14 to 16, before He went to the cross. At alam niyo po ba, seven times, no? Seven times po, in His last conversation to those He loved the most, sa mga disciple niya, siya po is nag-ikipag-usap sa kanila about prayer. Yun lang po ang kanilang pinag-uusapan sa chapter 14 to 16 and John po. He's just talking about prayer. And to those, to those passages, mababasa po that Jesus gave four primary purposes for prayer. Okay, ito po yung pag-uusapan natin. Yung, yung mga sinabi ni Jesus from John 14, uh, chapter 14 to 17 po, gagawin po lang, malap na ako na apat doon, at ano ba yung primary purpose ni Lord? Bakit kailangan malaman natin yung prayer na yan? And so, I want you to take note of this, okay? Because it will explain to you why we need to pray, or what is the reason, or what is the purpose why we need to pray. So, first, Jesus teaches us to pray because prayer is an act of Dedication. Okay? Prayer is an act of dedication. Alam niyo po, narealize ko lang lately, no? Lately lang po, narealize ko na through prayer, it will show our devotion, our dedication to God, 
our dependence upon God. Kung tayo po isang tao na nananalangin. It's an act of dedicating ourselves and say that God, I need you. That God, without you, I am nothing. God, I am looking for you to an answer to my needs. Lord, I am counting on you. I am dedicated to you. Yan. Nangyayari po lahat yan sa prayer. Tama po ba? So kung tayo po, alam niyo ba, ang pinakamalaking hindrance to prayer. Alam niyo kung ano yung pinakamalaking hindrance natin? In your own life, alam mo kung ano yun? Pride. It is pride. Self-sufficiency. Kapag po ang tao is, ang feeling niya sa sarili niya, kaya niya napatakbuhin ang buhay niya because he has so many things. Kompleto siya, maganda trabaho, maganda bahay, may sakyan, maayos sa mga pamilya, tama? Hindi niya na sometimes iniisip na bakit pa ako mananalangin, I have everything with me. Kasi po, much of the time, we think we can do everything in ourselves. Tama? Ang thinking natin, lahat kaya natin gawin sa sarili natin. So, hindi na natin kailangan pagtumawag sa Diyos. Hindi na natin kailangan umatid ng prayer meeting. Hindi na natin kailangan pag-asaya niya Sunday sa uh, live streaming na yan. Kasi, meron na ako lahat. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-pray. Di ba? Hindi na kailangan magdasal. Sometimes po, ganyan ang thinking natin. And we don't think that we need His help. Why? Why? Because this is self-sufficiency. Ito po sabi kong meron tayong pride na kasi, no? Kasi thinking natin, lahat kaya na natin. And ever since Adam and Eve, alam niyo po, simula po nung si Adam and Eve is kinreate ng Diyos, we have hugely overestimated our own abilities. In overestimate po natin yung abilities natin. Kaya po, yung, yung tipong ano, yung, bang, yung tipong, ano, kaya ko to, si Bobby ito, graduate ako sa UP, no? matalino ako, di ba? Uh, mer meron akong kakayahan maganda ang takbo ng business ko kaya kong buhay ng pamilya ko the problem is yourself ito po yung nakikita natin sometimes we cannot we cannot we cannot uh, put down or we cannot we don't have a contrite spirit na po yung spirit of humility para makaharap tayo sa Diyos ng maayos so makinig po tayo mabuti if you're going to pray okay kung tayo po yung mananalangin tandaan nyo po it's gonna cause you your pride Tama? Kasi po, kung wala ka ng pride, pwede kang manalangin na maayos. Kaya lang ang mga tao, hindi na kailangan magdasal because of their pride. Because they're thinking they have everything that they have. Well, you need to be honest to God. Tama? Alamin mo ang kakulangan mo. Tell Him that you are helpless. Aminin mo that without God, we are nothing. Lord, I need your help in my situation. Tama? Because as long as you think you are self-sufficient, As long as you think that you have it all together, ang iisipin mo talaga, hindi mo na talaga kailangang manalangin pa. Hindi mo na kailangan pag-aksayahan ng Sunday evening. At bakit pa ako mag-aating niyan ng prayer meeting? Eh, kaya, kaya ko naman sitwasyon ko, tama? But somebody once said, ito po yung sinabi ng isang kilalang tao, it's only when you come to the end of yourself, then you come to the beginning of God. Hanggat hindi ka napapalo, hanggat hindi nawawala ang mga bagay sa iyo, hindi hindi ka tatawag sa Diyos. Yan po, ganyan po 'yung nangyayari. Hanggat hindi ka pumapasok sa tiyan ng balena, hindi mo marerealize na kailangan mong magdasal at tumawag sa Panginoon. Tama ba? Kagaya ni Jonah, right? So sa madaling salita, hanggat hindi ka nawawalan ng supply sa buhay mo, hindi ka tatawag sa Diyos. Ang pinakamasakit niyan, kapag nawala lahat, doon ko palang tatawag. Tama? Hindi ka lalapit sa Diyos kasi you think that you are uh, uh, well uh, well taken care of by your richness, by your, because you are wealthy, because you have everything. May trabaho kang maayos. Tama po ba? No? Tandaan niyo po, prayer is an act of dedication. Dedicating yourself to communicate with God, to be dependent with God. Kaya ako po sinabing dedication. Amen? No, it's our dedication, yung pong dependency natin sa Panginoon. No? Pag ganito po eh, parang sinasabi mo sa Panginoon na, Father, I'm declaring my declaration of dependence sa'yo. And not independence, pero yung dependence. Sabi mo, Lord, simula sa gabi ito, Lord, nakadepende lang ako sa'yo. Hindi ko kakayanin kapag wala ka sa buhay ko, Panginoon. Tama? Yun yung dedication sinasabi ko dyan. Tama? Hindi independence to God, but dependence to God. It is our way of saying that, 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 that this proves that I'm only depending to you, Father. Because without you, Lord, I am nothing. Tama po ba? 
Diba? Kaya po dedication, tandaan niyo po, the more you pray, okay, the more na yung sarili mo, inululubog mo sa pananalangin, the more dependent you gotta be on God. Tama? Kasi kung, sa, kung lagi ka nagpe-pray, meaning, nakadepende ang buhay mo, nakadepende ang family mo, nakadepende ang health mo, tama? Nakadepende ang ang ang, ang araw-araw mong buhay sa Diyos lang. Why? Because the more you pray, the more dependent you gotta be on God. But, the less you pray, the more dependent you gotta be to yourself. Kung hindi ka nananalangin, meaning kaya-kaya mo na sarili mo. Tama? Ang mabigat niya, yung palo, ito yung tawag na palo, alam mo yung palo, yung papapalo ka, yun mabigat. Kapag ang tao na palo, sa kapalan tayo na lapit ng todo-todo sa Panginoon, huwag po natin pangarapin na mangyari sa buhay po natin yan. Tama? So let's read what to say here sa ating pong verse. Sabi po dito, Tinan niyo mabito yung sinasabi kong dependent. Yung dependent to God. Ano ba binig nun? Ito po yun. I am the vine, you are the branches. Si Lord ang vine, ikaw at ako ang branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, ano sabi? You can do nothing. Sinasabi ni Jesus na apart from me, sabi ni Lord, you can do nothing. Tama? Kailangan po, nakadepende tayo sa Diyos. At ang sabi po dito, If you do not remain in me, You are like a branch that is thrown away and is withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. But if you remain in me and my words, remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is the best example na kinuwana natin bakit kailangan nakadepende tayo sa Diyos. Sa Diyos. Si Jesus po is talking about complete depending on Him, dependence on Him. Tama? Sinasabi niya na kung ibibigay mo lang 101% yung pagkadepende mo sa Kanya, whatever you wish, it will be done for you. Tama? Yung buong buhay mo, ibibigay mo sa Inya, sa, 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 sa iyo, sa Kanya. So, this is like Jesus offering niya sa blank check. Tama po ba? Parang blank kong check ito na may pirmado na ni Jesus. Bahala ka na, ikaw na magsulat kung magano gusto mo. And that is incredible promise in prayer. Alam niyo po, kapag tayo talagang diin na diin ang buhay natin sa pakikipag-communicate kay Lord, no? no? Yung, yung lagi ka nakadepende sa Panginoon, yung every galaw mo, kailangan mo siya sa buhay mo. Yung po yung dependence na tinatawag ko. No? Ito po yung magbabase sa dedication mo kay God. Kaya po sabi ko kanina, prayer is an act of dedication. If you dedicate yourself, your family, your children, your spouses to God, Meaning, you are dedicated, you are the only dependence on Him. No, yung, de- yung pun dedication is staying connected to Him. No, hindi po tayo nawawala. Like a branch in a vine. Tama po ba? Now, tingin po yung second. Ito po yung second. Apat lang pag-uusapan natin. Prayer is an act of communication. Ito, alam na natin lahat to. Marami nang nakakalam nito. But honestly speaking, most of our problem is life is communication. Tama? Mostly nagiging dahilan kung bakit po maraming tao, maraming away sa gulo at gulo sa mundo dahil sa communication. Communication with your spouse, communication with your husband, your wife, your friends, communication with your boss, communication with your uh, uh, employees. Tama ba kung employer ka? Communication in your business. As a matter of fact, most of the problem in life comes from poor communication. And the Bible actually says that hindi po kasi... Uh, hindi po kasi, lubos natin na itindihan, no po, na kung wala kang communication sa isang tao, maglalawag talaga yung relasyon ninyo. So, parehas sa parehas po yun sa Diyos. Kung wala kang communication, how about your relationship? Maglalawag rin yan. No? Huwag kang makapag-communicate sa asawa mo, sa anak mo, sa kaibigan mo. Even our colleagues in the church, huwag kang makapag-communicate. Mawawala po yan. Magkakaroon po tayo ng problema unless we communicate with them. Doon natin ma-establish yung tinatawag natin relationship. So, it's the same is true with God. Parehas din po sa Diyos. No po? Kapag po nakalimutan natin makapag-communicate sa Diyos sa loob ng isang araw, dalawa, tatlong araw, diyan po mawawala na yung pagmamahal mo sa Diyos. Yung relationship po sa Diyos, babagsak po talaga. No? We can we can understand God. We can understand what God's will in your life if you don't communicate with Him. Hindi po natin mararanasan yon. And unless you communicate with Him through our prayer, no po, makikita mo lahat yung plano, kung gano ang gustong gawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo, everything na you want to ask from God, 
Ibibigay ni Lord yung buong detalye na sagot because you are communicating with Him regularly. So, prayer is vital in your spiritual life. Tama? Prayer po is vital in our spiritual life. You need to learn to communicate with and to God. Amen? Ulitin ko ulit. You need to learn to communicate with and to God. So, number one, ang sabi ko kanina, prayer, prayer is an act of dedication. Now, it shows our dependence to God. Secondly, prayer is an act of communication. It will show uh, if you are in contact, regular contact sa ating Creator. Now, listen to this. Sabi ko dito, you can know how to communicate with God unless you know your relationship to Him. Ayan. Tama. So, gaano ba ang relationship mo sa, God, sa Diyos? Think about this. Tama? You can't know the right way to communicate unless you know the relationship you have sa mga tao. Tama? Maari ba akong makapag-communicate kay Sheikh Muhammad? Hindi ko naman siya kilala. Wala naman kami relationship. Maari ba akong makapag-communicate kay, uh, kay uh, kung sino man yung mga tao dyan na hindi naman natin kilala? Tama? Unless kilala mo yung tao, unless meron ka relationship sa kanya, doon ko magkakaroon ng lakas ng loob na makipag-communicate. Tama? Now, ang tanong, meron ka bang relasyon sa Diyos? Baka wala, kaya hindi ka nagpag-communicate. Tama po ba? Are you following? So, paano nga ba ako makikipag-communicate sa isang tao? Paano ako makikipag-communicate kung wala naman ako relationship sa Kanya? So, it's the same thing with God. Kung meron ka relationship kay Lord, dapat ang communication tuloy, 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 tuloy. Amen. Tama ba? Hindi pa pwedeng lumagpas ang isang linggo na hindi ka umaatin na Sunday prayer meeting. Tama ba? So my question to you right now is, how is your relationship with God? Kamusta ba ang relasyon mo sa Panginoon? Or I would say, what is your relationship with God? Ano ba ang relasyon mo sa Diyos? Tama? Ito ba by religion? Wala bang, wala bang tunay na relasyon? Wala bang pagmamahal? Tama po ba? So kasi dito natin makikita kung ano yung relationship mo sa Panginoon kung ikaw merong regular communication with Him. Kung wala ka kasi, kung wala kang ganang magdasal, alam mo yun, kung wala kang ganang magdasal, or mag-attend ng gawain para matuto magdasal, kagaya nito mga gawain na ganito, dito natin may kita kung anong klaseng relationship meron ka sa kanya. Tama? Kung anong klaseng uh, relationship ang meron kayong dalawa. So check this out. Kanyan yung puto sabi ko rito. Kanyan yung ito. I no longer call you servants. Ano sabi? Because a servant does not know his master's business. Ito po siya sabi ko relationship mo. Ano ba ang relationship mo sa Panginoon? Ano ba ang meron sa Panginoon? Ano ba yung ano ba yung meron sa inyong dalawa? Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon ganito, Instead, I have called you friends. Wow! For everything that I learned from my Father, I have made known to you. Kita mo yung Panginoon, yung creator ng heaven and earth, creator ng universe. Are you privileged to be called friend of Him? Tama ba? At ang sabi rito, you did not choose me. Hindi naman talaga tayong pumili sa kanya. But I chose you and appointed you. Bakit? So that you might go and what? Bear fruit. Fruit that will last. Ano yung pinakauli? And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father I will give. I will give you. Amen. Tama? Kita nyo ang Panginoon na lumalang ng universe at tawag sa'yo friend, hindi servant. Hindi ka servant ng Panginoon. Ikaw ay friend niya. Jesus says the reason you can ask anything in prayer is because you and Him are friends. Amen. Tama po ba? Yun yung rason. Kaya lahat pwede mong hingin, lahat pwede mong hilingin sa Kanya in, the, in, in, in His Father's name. Why? Because kayo ay magkaibigan. Amen. Yun ang sabi ng Bible. In other words, you have this solid relationship with Him. Amazing, di po ba? Uh, di ba napakasarap sabihin na grabe, I'm a friend of God? Di ba yung kantang yun? I am a friend of God. Di ba alam natin yun? So, kung titignan mo mabuti, paano ka naging kaibigan ng Diyos? Paano, ba, pa, paano, bakit lahat ng gusto mo pwede mong hingin sa Diyos? Bakit? Kasi nga kayo yung magkaibigan. At paano nangyari yun? Because yung, yung advantages ng communication, hindi nawawala. Naandun ka, regular ka na ikipag-usap sa Diyos. Tama ba? So, kung ikaw po ay first-timer, o bago ka palang nakikinig dito ng ating uh, live streaming, I would, like, I would like you to see na ang Diyos po kaibigan ang tawag sa'yo. So, you must establish your relationship with Him. As a friend, na po, as a friend. Di ba? Di ba ang sarap na, 
Grabe, minsan kapag naisip ko po ito, yung creator na universe, ang tingin sa akin, friend. So, bakit po tatalikuran yung relationship na yun? Tama ba? So, tayo po mga first timer, tayo po mga bago pa lang, establish your relationship with the Lord. Tama? So, listen to this. The God who created the whole universe, He was saying to you, I don't want to treat you like a servant. Ang sabi niya, I don't want to treat you like a slaves. I want to treat you as my friend. Wow! Grabe, no? Matagal mo yung king na nakaupo doon sa, sa langit, ang tawag sa iyo, friend. Di ba? So privileged. Tama po ba? Tapos ikaw, eto, dahil sa pride mo, dahil sa... Amen? Andiyan ka pa ba? Dahil sa pride mo, dahil thinking mo, kaya mo lahat. Amen. Tama? Dapat tayo nga nagmamakawa sa Diyos, natawagin tayong friend. Pero siya pa ang tumatawag sa ating friend. Ngayon, dahil kaibigan ka niya, come on, yung communication relationship, establish it. You need to talk to him. Tama mo ba? Alam niyo po, we have seen this uh, even greater invitation ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Sa exact passage. Alam mo, you are invited to commune, to converse with the creator of the universe. Tama itong verses na ito, napakatindi nito. I no longer call you servants, a friend na ang tawag sa atin. And that is going straight to the top. Yung mga ganun salita ng Panginoon. Kapag na-establish mo na magkaibigan talaga kayo, ba? Ano pa asahan mo? Ay, nitan nga mamatay ka, kapatid. Nandun ko sa langit. Depende sa iyo. Ang tawag niya sa iyo, friend. I don't know how you are treating him. Tawa mo ba? And that is going straight sa, sa, sa doon, sa trono niya. Yung mga salitang niya, siya mismo kasi nagsabi. So, as a friend, the po, as a friend, you don't need a secretary to reach him. Tawa mo ba? As a friend, you don't need a middleman to talk to him. Tawa mo ba? So, as a friend, you don't need any ambassadors to get an appointment with him. Amen? Amen. Hindi mo na kailangan yun. In other words, listen to this. You have the right access as a friend. You have the key to the throne room. Tama? The Lord of all lords. The God of all gods. The King of all kings. The Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Binibigyan tayo ng direct access. Because Jesus was saying that you are His friend. We are His friend. So we have the access directly to Him. And I would like to talk to you and communicate with you. Yun ang sinasabi ni Lord dito. Gusto niya na makipag-communicate sa'yo. Do you imagine that? Ang Diyos pa para nagmamakaawa na makipag-communicate ka sa Kanya? Grabe naman. No? Sino ka ba naman? Para naman bigyan ng panahon ng Diyos. Tama? Tapos tayo pa yung... Amen? Hello? Are you hearing me? Tayo pa yung may attitude na tatamad-tamad mag-pray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what prayer is all about. It's an act of communication with Him directly. Di ba? What a privilege. Napakalaking privilege po nito. Kaya po huwag po natin sayangin na tayo po ay meron direct access sa Panginoon. Hindi mo na kailangan lumuhod doon sa ano? Doon sa may butas-butas, no? Habang na nanalain ka si Father, nag-SMS. Tama po ba? So, gusto ko po sabihin sa inyo, direct na po tayo kay Lord. Binigyan tayo ng direct access. Tama? So, gusto ko pong paliwanagan kayo sa gabi nito na wag na wag nyo pong kalilumutan yung pinag-usapan natin because it's very important for us because God, idea, yung prayer na yan. Tama? Galing po kay Lord. Okay? So, the third. Ito na po yung third. Apat na tayo. The third is prayer is an act of supplication. Ngayon, may magtatanong, Pastor, Matagal ko nung gustong malaman yan. Ano ba yung meaning ng salitang supplication? Ayan. Kasi nga sometimes, parang hirap eh, no? Ito po ang meaning ng supplication. Supplication is a Bible word that simply means make a request. So meaning, ang prayer pala is we are making a request. Pag sinabi natin supplication, tawa po ba? So the next time na marinig mo yung salitang supplication, humihingi pala tayo ng request kay Lord. Kaya nga po, pag tayo nagpe-pray, listen to this. It's all it's always about His perfect will and perfect time. Amen. Hindi po ikaw. Kaya sometimes ang thinking natin, ang tagal ko nang nananalahin, Pastor, hindi pa ako sinasunod ni Lord, hindi pa ako sinasagot ni Lord. Hindi ko pa sinasagot, bakit ano bang prayer mo? Ang prayer ko po, makakita ng magandang trabaho eh. Yung po trabaho, ang ganito ang sweldo, yung trabaho, ang ganito. So, ano ginawa ni Lord? Eh, binigyan po ako ng ibang trabaho, hindi ganun kalaking sweldo. Eh. Hindi kaya, kaya ka hindi nilagay doon kasi baka mas magandang dito ka. Tama mo ba? Kasi po, sometimes ganun. Yung nagre-request tayo ng prayer kay Lord, tandaan niyo po si Lord, sinasagutan lahat ng prayer natin. 
Basta po tatandaan nyo ang prayer is request. So it's all about this will. And not our will. In other words, in prayer, siya ang nasusunod, hindi tayo. No? Kaya nga po, prayer is application. In prayer, siya ang nasusunod po, hindi yung gusto mo. And believe me, kapag ang Diyos ang nasunod, sigurado maganda mangyayari. Amen. Tama? Kasi minsan, ikaw ang nasusunod, kaya ang pangit na nangyayari. Tama po ba? Pastor, gusto ko na pong gawin ito eh. Sinabi ba sa inyo ni Lord yan? Opo. Narinig mo ba? Opo. Narinig niya raw. Sige, go ahead. After one week, bumalik. Pastor, hindi pala nagkamali ako. Eh, kala ko ba sabi ni Lord? Kasi sometimes po, nag-justify na yung gusto mo kasi ay nauuna. Dapat yung gusto niya, hindi yung gusto mo. Okay, tingin niyo po sabi po sa buko Pilipinas. Sabi po rito, Do not be anxious about anything. Sabi? But in everything, by prayer and what? Supplication. So in other words, but in everything, but prayer and making requests. Di ba? Yung supplication is making requests. So kung babasahin mo to, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and making requests, ano sabi? With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to be God. Yun daw request mo, sabihin mo sa Panginoon. Ano ba yung request mo? Dapat specific tayo niya. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. No? So, yun pong Pilipinas na yan, natin pinag-usapan, galing po sa ESB, no? So, learn this tonight. Okay? Take a note. When you learn supplication and prayers, meaning how to ask, how to make requests, are you with me? Kapag po natutunan natin supplication, yung how to ask, how to make requests, the result of your supplication or your ask in, uh, or request in prayer will be having a peace of mind. Bakit ka magkakaroon ng peace of mind? Because you are letting God to decide on you. Tama? Kaya ka may peace of mind. Kaya po tayo kapag humihingi, wala tayong peace of mind. Kasi ang gusto mo palagi, yung gusto mo. Pero kapag ipinalangin na, pinanalangin natin sa Panginoon, sa Panginoon yung, yung request natin, yung supplication natin na, Lord, let you will be done in my supplication. Tama ba? Lord, let you will be done in my request. Tinan niyo po sabi po si John 16. Ito po yung sabi, John 16. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. Ayan. Very truly, I'll tell you, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Tama po ba? Tapos, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Meaning, everything na supplication na gusto mo in the name of Jesus. Baka naman iba sa inyo nag nagpe-pray dyan in the name of Pastor Bobby. Mali yun. Walang mararating ang prayer nyo. Okay? Dahil na po yung mga bago ha, walang magpe-pray ng in the name of Pastor Bob or in the name of my son leader. In the name of Jesus po ang prayer. So the motivation of us na po, ni Lord sa atin is Jesus wants you to have a life which is full of joy. Yan po yung gusto ng Panginoon. Yan po, yan po yung gusto ng Panginoon sa atin. Jesus wants you to be happy. Sino ba naman ang gugusto na hindi ka maging happy? Tama? He wants you to have a great relationship to God. And what exactly saying here in this set of passages? Ito po yung exact yung sinasabi rito. You're going to be happy because you're going to ask. Tama? Kapag hiningi mo yung supplication mo sa kanya in His perfect will, ask your friend, ang sabi ni Lord, I'm going to answer. Tama? Natandaan niyo po, ang ating pong, uh, ating pong Diyos is friend. No? But don't ever forget that all of God's answer to your supplication is always depend on His will Amen. and His perfect timing. Ito po yung sabi ko sa Facebook ko noong two weeks ago. When you get what you want, that's God's direction. When you don't get what you want, that's God's protection. Amen? Amen? Pinosting ko po sa Facebook ko yung two weeks ago. Tama? Kasi po sometimes, ang gusto natin, makuha natin na makuha natin na makuha. Kapag may nakuha ka, God's direction yun. Pag hindi binigay sa iyo, God's protection. Pinaprotectahan ka niya kasi although maganda yung gusto mo, pero in the end of the day, pangit yun, kaya ayaw ng Diyos. Tama? Amen po ba? You with me? Yung mga, yung mga, yung mga uh, big decision na gagawin natin, itaas muna natin kay Lord yan. Napaka-importante yan. So, not all your supplication, not all your requests will be given to you. Sometimes, kung di mo naman makuha yung gusto mo, na po, you need to be thankful to God because He's only protecting you. Yan po yung ibig sabihin. As a matter of fact, 
Prayer is God's chosen method in meeting your needs. Ulitin ko po ulit. Ulitin ko ulit ha. Ang prayer po is methods ng Diyos para po lahat ng gusto mo masagot niya. Dadaan ka sa prayer. Hindi po, hindi po babagsak sa harapan mo, kailangan mo. Kailangan pong manalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Hindi pa pwede na kailangan mo ng trabaho. Basta kailangan mo lang kasi ang thinking mo, matalino ka naman. Ang thinking mo, graduate ka sa UP, University of Palawan. So, siyempre, pag graduate ka dyan, malaki talaga ang chance. Kasi ang thinking mo, matalino ka. No, kailangan pong manalangin. Yung pong kailangan natin, ilalapit natin kay Lord. Kasi po, yung God's chosen method in meeting your needs is through prayer. Tama mo ba? Kailangan natin manalangin. And your prayer to God is very essential and must play a vital role in our lives. Amen. Dapat po talaga may vital role yung prayer na yan. So alam niyo po yung Bible teach us that there is something that God has promised to do sa buhay natin. But only if you will pray. If you will not pray, nothing will happen. Tama? Kasi po God's idea nga yung prayer. And some of you will say, eh, eh di ba pastor, sabi ng Bible, bakit pa ako magpe-pray? Di ba sabi ng Bible, alam na ni Lord yung aking pangailangan before I even ask. Wow, justification yan, anak. Totoo yung sinabi mo. Justification yan. Even before we ask it, alam na ni Lord. Wow, makinig ka. Okay? Kung ganyan ang iyong, kung ganyan ang iyong dahilan, makinig tayo ha. Bakit pa po ako magpe-pray, Pastor? Eh, alam naman na yung Lord ang aking mga kailangan. So, for sure, kung alam niya ang need ko, eh, di bibigay niya na lang, tama? Bakit pa po ako magpe-pray? Bakit pa po atin? You know what? Gusto ko sabihin sa iyo. It doesn't work that way. Tama? Hindi po ganon. That is not true. Okay? Your belief is wrong. Because God is more interested to have a relationship to you than to answer your prayer. Amen. Tama ba? Are you with me? Mas interesado siya makipag-communicate ka sa kanya kaysa sagutin niya ang pangangailangan mo. Kasi kung meron kang regular communication sa kanya, doon siya sasagot sa lahat ng gusto mo. Tama ba? Justification yung iniisip mo. And God has decided to set it up in His plan that there are some times na gagawin niya lang sa buhay mo kung tatawag ka sa kanya in prayer, sa kanya palang ibibigay. Kung hindi ka mananalangin, hindi po babagsak sa iyan. Although alam na ni Lord ang pangailangan mo, ang ibig sabihin ng verse na yon is, kung ikaw is merong regular na communication sa Diyos, alam niya na ang pangailangan mo. Pero kung wala kang regular na prayer sa Diyos, hindi niya ibibigay pangailangan niya. Kaya pangailangan mo, even though alam niya na. In other words, gagawin niya for you if you ask him in prayer and make a supplication. Amen? Or make a request, in other words. Tama ba? Nakuha po ba natin? So, tingnan po natin sabi ni James para po magkaroon tayo ng maganda idea pagka sinasabi yan. Yet, you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. Ayan. So, kung hindi ka mananalangin, wala pong babagsak na biyaya sa'yo. You don't have what you want yet because hindi mo pa hinihingi sa Panginoon. So, kailangan po natin humingi. Kailangan natin mag-supplication sa Kanya. Kailangan natin tanungin ng Panginoon sa gusto natin. Tama ba? You don't have what you want yet because you don't ask Him yet. Amen. So, hindi po po pwede yung alam na ni Lord, hindi na ako magpe-pray, Pastor, di ba? Alam niya na. Hindi. Ang gusto niya, makapag-communicate ka. You need to ask. Alam niyo po, in fact, over 20 times sa Bible po, na in the New Testament, over 20 times, the Bible say, ask in prayer. Ask and it will be given to you. Tama? Seek and you will find. Tama? Knock and the door will be opened to you. Tama po ba? I will do whatever you ask in my name, sabi ni Lord. Ask, seek, knock, and keep on asking. Tama? So, that is supplication. Keep on asking. Keep on knocking. Keep on seeking. Yan po yung supplication na sinasabi natin. Alam niyo po, si Church uh, Spargion, ito po ito pong tao ito, ito po yung pastor sa isang malaking simbahan sa London in the 18th century. At sabi niya po, Wainsan, ito po yung sabi niya, God will never shut his storehouse until you shut your mouth. Hanggat hindi ka humihingi, na po, hanggat, hanggat itinigil mo na yung bibig mo, magsasara din yung store para sa'yo. So kung hindi ka titigil sa paghingi, lahat ibibigay niya sa'yo. In the name of Jesus. Tama po ba? Why? Because there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen? Do you believe that? There is power in the name of Jesus. Everything you ask in my name, it will be given to you, but you need to ask. You need to pray. Prayer is God's idea. 
Amen? Amen. Kaya kung ikaw is bago pa lang na nakikinig dyan, o first timer ka, o kahit matagal ka na, hindi ka pa nananalangin, hanggang ngayon, naku po, Panginoon ko, matuto ka anak. Tama po ba? In other words, you don't have because you don't ask. Tama? Narinig niyo po ako? You have to ask. You need to pray. So number one, prayer is a, an act of dedication. Number two, it's an act of communication. Then number three, it's an act of supplication. Tama? So it's asking. Pag sinabi supplication, we are asking God about everything that we need. So I want you to ask more in your prayer. Humingi rin po tayo sa Panginoon no? at tuturuan ko kayo how to do this in the series na gagawin natin. So sabi niyo po sa Psalms, sino po sabi si Psalms? He fulfills the desires of those who reverence and trust Him. Pag sinabi po reverence kasi, ito mo ha, He fulfills not just the needs, di ba? He fulfills also the desires. Kung ano yung desires ng puso mo, ay binibigay din ni Lord yan. Basta lang po, itinuturin mo ang Diyos with reverence, with reverence. Di ba? The desires of those who reverence and trust in Him, ibibigay din ni Lord yung pangailangan mo. And when you, re when you have reverence in God, and when you have trusted God in your life, This is someone who is dependent on Him. Ito yung tao na may dependent sa God. You may devotion sa Panginoon. And then your desires will, will got to be uh, given to you. Tama? Are you with me? Tinyo po yung sabi ko pa sa 37 pa ng Psalms. Ito, take the light in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Ayan, meron na naman desire. Tayo po, napakarami natin desire. Pero po yung desire na makilala natin si Lord, wala. Tama? Ang gano'n naman yung salitang desires. If you delight yourself in God, God will give the desires of your heart. No? It's like, uh, it's like you're saying, I want, I, I want you, God. No? Parang ganito yan eh. Yung desire, yung tinatawag na delight ako pag sinabing you are delighting to God. No? Lord, I want you, God. No, I want you in my life. There is nothing else in my life. I want to desire you in my life. Tama mo ba? Yung, I want to know you more, Lord, in my life. No? Then, then you are trying your best. You are trying to please Him in everything that you're doing. You need to know Him better by reading His Word, to make His devotion, mga anak. Tama? And once God sees that your heart is true, kapag nakita ng Panginoon na yung puso mo talagang delighting in Him, then God will give you the desires of your heart. Tama? Simple lang po yan, pinag-usapan natin. At sasabihin ko po sa inyo, by by taking notes, pag-aralan po natin yan, pipigayin nyo sa cell group yan para po hindi mo malagit sa isip natin. Ito po yung Matthew 79, 7, 9 to 11. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Okay, sabi po dito, or if, if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you, then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Dito po, dito po sa passage na ito, may kita natin that God actually delight in answering your prayer. Tama? Gusto niya na ibigay ang gusto mo. Hindi ka nabibigyan ng mga bagay na pangit, lahat maganda. Kung yung nga raw tatay, nakagaya ko, na po, is gusto kong bigyan ng maganda yung anak ko, yung evil spirit pa yung, yung aking uh, kakayanan, hindi pa kagaya ni Lord. Si Lord pa kaya? ay hindi magbagay ng maganda sa'yo. So, huwag po tayong manghinayang na manalangin sa Panginoon because our God is a good father. Tama po ba? He is a good father and He can give you a good gift if you will just ask Him. Ang sabi po dyan, good gift, no? So, pag sinabi good gifts, good yan. <laughs> Alam niyo naman, depression na bad sa kagood. So, pag sinabi good, favor po sa atin yung kaya ibigay ni Lord. So first we say that the reason of prayer is an active dedication. Ano ibig sabihin kasi sa number one? Expressing dependence on God. Tawa po ba? Secondly, ano sabi ko? It's an active communication. Kumbaga, the way how I communicate with our Lord. Because God is excited to build our relationship with Him. Kaya gusto niya communication. Tama? Third, it's an active supplication. Yun yung sabi ko. How? How am I asking God? Paano ko tinatanong si Lord? Paano ko ino-offer yung lahat ng request ko sa Kanya? And finally, the last one, but not the least. Number four. Number four na po tayo. Ito na yung last. Prayer is an act of cooperation. Ito po, napakaganda nito. Siguro po hindi lahat kayo narinig pa to. Pero po, ito po is as per my experience. Bakit po cooperation na inilagay ko dyan? Believe me or not, this is the most exciting part in prayer. Okay? Maniwala po kay Sende. Bakit po? Bakit ko nasabing 
uh, prayers and act of cooperation. Bakit po? Kasi, maaaring hindi mo pa narinig to, maaaring hindi pa natin ito pag-usapan ito ngayon pa lang. What do I mean by this? Ba't ko sinabing cooperation? Bakinig po kayo. God has independently chosen you and me. Tama? To cooperate in His plan. Amen. Are you with me? Meron pong plano ang Diyos, kaya tayo tinawag. May plano po ang Diyos, kaya tayo uh, 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 pinili. May plano ang Diyos, kaya tayo kinrei. How? By praying for His will to be done. Tama? Kaya tayo na nalangin na, Lord, let your will to, uh, be done, Lord God. Kung di mo kagustuhan, huwag pong mangyari mga bagay. <coughs> yung kagustuhan nyo lang ang mangyari sa buhay ko. So, this is like cooperating with God's will sa buhay mo. Yun po yung prayer. Yung nagkakaroon ka ng cooperation na mangyari yung plano ni Lord sa buhay mo because how you are praying is about God's will. So, you are cooperating, di ba? May plano maganda ang buhay, uh, ang Diyos, ang buhay ni Gab. Di ba? Di Brother Gab. Di ba? Maganda ang plano ng, uh, ng Diyos sa buhay niya. Pero, by praying, by asking the Lord, by cooperating in my prayer, the Lord, let your plans happen to my life. Let your will happen to my life. So, yung prayer natin, cooperation, sa gusto ng Diyos na mangyari sa'yo. Hello? Are you with me? Nakita niyo po ba yung act of cooperation? Tama? So, by praying to the Lord na yung will niya mangyari, because as a follower of Christ and a believer of Christ, we must cooperate with God's plan. <coughs> yung plano niya sa buhay mo, right here on earth, bago ka mamatay, through your prayer. Tama? Maniwala ka, makinig po tayo. Sabi ko rito, prayer is God's way of letting us partner with Him to accomplish His purpose here on earth. Bibigyan ko kayo ng example, ba't ko sinabi yan? Kasi po yung prayer must be always depend on His will. As I said earlier, tama po ba? Dapat po sa will niya. Okay? And many of you uh, uh, believe the po, that we can do great things for God. Amen? Tayo, pwede kang gumawa ng great things for God. Hindi ka titingnan ni Lord sa itsura mo. Titingnan niya yung puso mo. Hindi niya titingnan yung ability mo. Titingnan niya yung availability mo. Then God can use you. Amen? Tingnan niyo po, sabi ko rito. Tingnan niyo mabuti ha. Ito po yung verse na basa ko. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me, ano sabi? Will do the works I have been doing. Kung meron kang pananampalataya sa Diyos, kung meron kang faith sa Kanya, lahat ng ginawa ni Jesus dito sa lupa, kaya mong gawin. Listen ha? Sabi niya rito. And I will do even greater things than this because I'm going to the Father. Okay, now, Una ko po nabasa yung verse na yan, 2004, hindi ko po makakalimutan. Kasi sinulat ko pa yan sa pitaka ko, binulsa ko eh. Binulsa ko po yan, hindi ko po makakalimutan yan. Ano nyo po ba nung nabasa ko yan, drummer po ako sa church. Music team ako, eto yung sabi ko sa sarili ko. Nakita ko to, maganda to ha. Ibig sabihin, yung mga gagawin ko sa Panginoon, kung ako may planong gawin, magagawa ko yon because I have faith in Him. At ang sabi niya dito, they will do even greater things than this. Mas maganda pa rin yung magagawa ko. Ito yung something na napakahirap paniwalaan. Kung titignan mo. Ibig sabihin ba, mas magaling ka pa kay Lord? Tama? Mas magaling pa tayo kay Lord? Hindi po yung meaning naman. Okay, tingnan niyo po. Ito yung verse na nagbigay po sa akin na so much motivation. No? At ang sabi ko sa sarili ko, I will not remain playing drums only in the church. Kasi nga, music team ako nang pumasok. So, I told myself, kung si Lord nagsishare ng word sa New Testament, sa Paul Gospel, ako rin magsishare ng word. Magsishare ako na, mag 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 i ako ng mga tao. Hindi lang ako tagapalo sa drums. Hindi lang ako mananatiling drummer. And I said that, I will do what Jesus did. Yun ang sabi ko. And that is to share the word of God to others. To share His goodness, His faithfulness to others. To go and make disciples, right? So, I mean, ito po yung gusto ko sabihin, ha? I did not see myself doing great things more than the, what of Jesus said. Hindi po yun ang ebig ko sabihin. Pero po, ang sabi mo sa sarili ko, posible na mangyari. Basta wala lang personal agenda sa'yo. Kung ang puso mo tama, ang titignan ni Lord yung puso mo, then yung availability mo, then tutulungan ka niya. Then, I just pray to God, Lord, let you will be done. Tingnan nyo ha, naikipag-cooperate na ako, 2,000 po yan. Na ito pag operate na ako kay Lord. At sabi ko, Lord, lecture will be done. Ano yung gusto mong plano mo sa buhay ko? Yung plano mo mangyari. Dahil alam ko, mas maganda pa akong gagawin kaysa mag-drums lang. Ito po ngayon. Kaya ko nalaman na posible, ito yung sumunod the verse. Tingnan po yung sumunod the verse. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. Tama? Gagawin 
sabihin ng Panginoon ang lahat ng gusto mong gawin sa pangalan niya so that the Father may be glorified. At sabi ko kanina, kung gusto mong gumawa ng something, walang personal agenda, si Lord ang mag-glorify, sasamahan ka ng Panginoon. Amen? Are you with me? Ito pa, you may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Kaya posible yung sinasabi ng kanina, yung verse 12, kasi sumunod, yung 13, 14. At yun po yung ginawa ko. Actually po, sa pag-share ng gospel, yun po ako naging pastor. Yan po SL na nakadikit dito sa dingding. Yan po. Nakita ko lang po sa Google yan. Nilagyan ko ng PowerPoint. Napakarami na pong narating na bansa niyan. Hiningi po ng mga leader yan sa church. Nung una pa, hiningi na rin ng mga pastor. Kasi nasa Google yan, may kita mo eh. Pero po walang PowerPoint. So, dyan po ako nagsimula at dyan po ako naging pastor sa pag-share lang yan. So, possible po na a person like me has been used by God and started the church here in Abu Dhabi. Kita nyo, by prayer. How is it possible for you to have a miracle like what happened to me? So, by prayer lang, by cooperation sa God's will sa buhay mo. Tama mo ba? Narinitin nyo po ba yung sinasabi ko? Dahil sa cooperation mo sa prayer, Bakit yung pag-cooperate ang God sa'yo sa plano niya sa buhay mo? Kasi sinasabi mo, lecture will be done, Lord. I want to start this for you. Lecture will be done. So, yung plano ng Diyos sa yung plano niya sa'yo, dahil nakikipag-cooperate ka sa prayer, nangyayari. Amen po. Now, naririnig niyo po ba ako? So, kung nangyari sa akin na sobrang uh, negative akong tao ng araw, di, mangyayari din sa'yo. Tama mo ba? Because when Jesus was here on earth, okay, listen, when Jesus was here on earth, he voluntarily limited himself by becoming a human being. Tama? Marake ang kanyang posibilidad kasi Diyos siya at the same time. Pero voluntarily, he limited himself just a person, just a human being. Tandaan niyo po, nung panahon na yon, he can only be at one place in one time. So he can only do miracles at one time in one place. Nung mga panahon na nasa lupa siya, tama? So he is limited to do miracles in the vicinity of where he is. Meaning, hindi siya gumawa ng maraming himala sa Pilipinas, sa China, sa ibang bansa, dahil naantoon lang siya sa lugar na yon. Hindi siya pwedeng gumawa ng himala sa ibang bansa, tama? So, limited yung kanyang kakayahan. Although, meron siya kakayahan. Jesus did not do any miracles in any country. Doon na sa lugar na yun, sa Nazareth lang. Yung lang area yon. But listen to this carefully. Tignan po yung sabi ko rito. Prayer is not limited by time and not by limited by space. So, lahat pwede mong gawin because of prayer. Amen? Are you with me? Nakukuha niyo po ba yung pinag-usapan natin? Yung cooperation para mangyari yung plano ng Diyos sa buhay mo is through prayer. So when we pray, it's all about God's will in your life, not your will. Tama? Kaya naririnig sa akin when we are praying, Lord, let your will be done. Don't let us make anything na hindi mo gusto. Pag gusto mo, samahan mo kami. Pag hindi mo gusto, Lord, please, simula pa lang, putulin mo na. Tama? So, nakikipag-cooperate tayo through our prayer to Him about His will sa buhay mo. Kasi may will si Lord sa buhay mo. May plano siya sa buhay mo. Ang problema, through prayer, hindi ka nakikipag-cooperate. Kasi ang sinasabi mo palagi, yung gusto mo. Tama? Dapat lecture will be done, Lord, sa buhay ko. Tama mo ba? Are you with me? So, your prayers, tanda niyo po, can influence nations. Kasi nga, walang limitation yan, yung prayer mo. It can penetrate in the heart of anyone when you pray. You can even touch people's life no po? through prayer. Prayer can release the power of God even in the most hopeless situation. Tanda nyo palagi, prayer can penetrate no po? even in the most difficult places. So you may not be able to go to that places, but your prayer can go there. And the reason why we are able to start a church here in UAE, alam nyo po, dito po sa Abu Dhabi, no, no, ako po yung bago pa lang dito. Before we close. Nak, ano lang tayo, uh, music nga. Before we close, no po? Before we start praying. No, gusto ko lang po diinan sa inyo itong cooperation na to. Kasi po ito, idea to na nakita ko po eh. Na, na yung prayer natin, yung cooperation sa Diyos po, is napakaganda. Tingnan nyo ha. When the Lord transferred me here in Abu Dhabi, okay, ang una-una ko pong ginawa, Lord, let your will be done. Nung nakita ko yung basketball court doon sa Zion University. Alam nyo po ba, hindi ko makakalimutan, First time nakita ko yon, hinawakan ko yung pinto ng gym. Hinawakan ko yung dalawang court. Ang sabi ko, Lord, let your will be done in this place. 
Hindi, hindi ko po kalilimutan yun. Hinawakan ko talaga yung pinto. Alam niyo po ba na yung basketball court na yun, ginamit ni Lord para po makakilala ako ng maraming Pilipino. Every night po, naglalaro kami. Every night, grabe yung resistensya ko noon. Talaga po gabi-gabi. Nagagawa ko yung because si Pastor Edwin sa si Tina May nandun sa Dubai. Ako lang po mag-isa rito. So I can go home every time I need. I want to go home one time. Uh, kahit anong oras ako umuwi, wala pong naghahanap sa akin. No? Meaning, ando ka sa Dubai. Now, tingnan niyo po. Ang sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, itong auditorium na to na napakaganda, may kompletong gamit, gamitin mo to Lord for your church. Lord, itong mga classroom na to, pag gusto ko mag-cell group, gamitin mo Lord. Bakit? Kasi yung aking po tinitira, bed space. Pag baba ko ng kama, wala ng lugar. Paano ako mag-evangelize doon? Tama po ba? So, ang sabi ko lang palagi, Lord, let your will be done. And to make the long story short, ito tayo. Tama? Hindi po ganun kadali. Pero nangyari, why? Because of prayer. Tama po ba? Yung, yung prayer mo is a cooperation sa gusto ng Diyos na mangyari sa buhay mo. Hindi po ganun kadali. Pero sabi ko sa inyo, kung ang kung puso mo solid na maglingkod sa Kanya, hindi po Kanya pababayaan ang sabi ka din ng verse. Tama po? Now, now, sasabihin ko po sa inyo, experience, experience. Prayer in his limitless it is limitless in his power. Kapag po tayo na nalangin, ginamit natin yung prayer. Yung puso mo sobrang linis at ang gusto mo lang talaga mapaglingkuran ng Panginoon. Tandaan niyo, people may reject you. Tama? People may reject you. Ang dami po nag-reject sa akin, grabe. Okay, ang dami po. Ranas na ranas ko na 'yan. No, because when you when you share him, when you share his goodness and faithfulness sa other tao, hindi maniniwala yung maraming tao sa iyo. So, okay lang yan. Si Jesus nga, sinabi ang demonyo eh. Tama ba? So, ilaman ng utak ko yon Kung si Jesus sinabi ang demonyo, itutulak pa sa bangin at binabato ng mga tao kapag nagsasalita siya, ako pa kaya? So, hindi po ako nawala ng, 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 ng kalooban dahil yung prayer ang kasama ko. <coughs> na lagi ko siya sabi kay Lord, Lord, hindi mo ako pinadala rito sa Godami for nothing. May purpose ka. Lagi po may purpose ang Diyos. Hindi kanya dadali sa isang lugar ng walang purpose. Meron lagi yan. Lalo na kung iniisip mo siya. Hindi yung personal mo. Lagi po may purpose. You remember Ruth? Yung buhay niya ginabayan ni Lord? Abraham? Tama? Jacob? And doon po lahat. So, the people may reject you and your arguments with them. People, yung, 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 may, pwede nila i-reject yung logic na meron ka. Even reject you as a person. Pero po, kung ang kalooban mo, gawin ang purpose ni Lord sa buhay mo, wala pong imposible. So tonight, mama, mananalangin po tayo. Kung ang gusto natin, yung kalooban ng Diyos na mangyari sa buhay natin, madali pong humingi at madali pong magbigay si Lord. Ito po yung sabi sa Proverbs. Sino yung sabi sa Proverbs? The king's heart lies like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever He pleases. Ano po sabi niya sa, sa verse na yan? Apo, ibig sabihin niya, sabi po ni Jesus, in other words, it's just like a river. God can change a course of a person's life. Kahit na gano'ng kasama yan, pwede magbago. Kahit na gano'ng katindi ang sakit niyan, pwede gumaling. Kahit na gano'ng kalaliman, baon na baon sa utang niyan, pwede makaahon niyan. Tama? Amen. Kahit na wasak na wasak na relasyon, pwede ma-restore ba? Tama? Amen. Kahit na malalang malala na sakit, pwede gumaling. Tama? Amen. Because God can change the course of people's life, the course of history, through your prayer and my prayer. Tama? Tandaan nyo po palagi yan. Dahil sa prayer natin, pwede po magbago lahat. So, yung acts of dedication, last act of dedication, yung prayer is act of communication, supplication and cooperation, napaka-importante po huwag natin kalipunan. So, before we pray, I just want to listen to this. I just want to listen to this. Did you know that seven times in John 14, 15, 14, 15, and 16 chapters, po, seven times po. Jesus' final words to His disciples before He go to the cross. Bago po siya ipako sa cross, ito po yung sabi niya. If you will ask, I will answer. Tama? Ang sabi po ni Lord. If you will ask, I will do. Ang sabi ni Lord. He says, your part is the asking, my part is the doing. Amen. So, ngayong gabi, hihingi tayo, mag-a-ask tayo sa Panginoon. Ang part lang natin mag-ask, at He will do. Tandaan niyo po, sa Diyos, nasa much better position siya to answer our prayer than us. Hindi tayo lalapit sa tao, ang lapit natin sa Diyos. 
Dahil po ang Diyos ang may sagot sa lahat ng ating pangailangan. Amen? So, babalik po kami. Huwag po kayong alis. Okay? Babalik kami. So, lahat po ng panalangin tonight, pag narinig niyo, please comment. Huwag po kayong alis. Lahat po, please comment. Please write down your comment. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Para po, agree tayo sa lahat ng prayer. We will come back in two seconds. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you, Lord, for this wonderful night, Lord, that you have given to each and every one of us, O God. Thank you for the message of your word, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us na dapat magpatuloy po kami manalangin, O God, and uh, to do everything in accordance to your will, O God. And Lord, as you come before your presence, we humbly come before you, Lord. Cleanse us from all our unrighteousness and make us worthy, Lord, to stand before you, O God. Lord, ikaw po ang nakakaalam kung ano po ang laman ng aming puso at isipan. And Lord, we pray for a pure heart as we come before you, Lord, and to present this prayer request, O God. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege na binigay niyo sa amin na may present namin ang mga pa pangangailangan namin and uh, to cry out to you, O God, and, uh, and to entrust to you everything, Lord Jesus. Thank you, O God. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I know na wala pong imposible sa iyong pangalan, O God. I know, O God, na ikaw po ang mag answer po sa lahat ng aming mga prayers in accordance to your will. And I know, O God, na by your stripes, O God, by your wounds we are healed, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your power. There is nothing impossible in your name, O God. And Lord, we continue to present their, this prayer request, O God. Uh, sa ang parte man sila ng mundo ngayon, I know, Lord, na ikaw po ang mas nakakaalam kung ano po ang nasa puso nila, O God, mga desires nila sa mga pangangailangan nila, O God. And Lord, we entrust to you, Lord, ang um, mga prayers ng aming mga kapatiran, uh, si Juanito Tan for uh, his anxiety and depression, O God, uh, comfort his heart, uh, open his heart and his mind, O God, na andyan ka lang po palagi sa kanya, na that you will uh, comfort him, uh, that you love him, and Lord, I also pray for Melba Tan for continuous recovery, O God, uh, lalo na po sa post-operation, O God, uh, you will... Uh, give her the complete healing and the good health. And I also pray for uh, Sis Melanie Madrid, uh, healing from ovarian cyst, O oh God. Uh, Lord, uh, restore his health. Uh, for Amelie Abando, lalo na po, Lord, na may cervical cancer siya. O oh God, alam niyo po, Lord, ang mga pinagdadaanan niya sa buhay, Lord. Lalo na po itong uh, infirmity na nasa kanya. O oh God, Alam niyo po ang pain na nararanasan niya and I pray for uh, ikaw po ang mag sa kanya, Lord. And complete healing. Wala pong imposible sa iyo, Panginoon. For DJ Evangelista, healing from leukemia. Uh, Carmelita Protasio, uh, Lord, heal her from her weak heart function. And also, Lord, uh, especially that she's undergoing dialysis, uh, you will uh, continue to provide everything that she needs, uh, especially the provision, Lord, uh, to continue her treatment. And for Princess, uh, I pray, Lord, for healing from cold and flu, O oh God. Uh, restore her health, uh, restore her body, O oh God. And for Lani Rivera, complete healing from knee and leg pain. Uh, Lord, uh, restore her health, Lord. Uh, ikaw po ang nakakaalam, Lord, sa, ma, sa kanyang pain na naranasan ngayon. And uh, we entrust her life to you, O oh God. Uh, for Virgin Barcubo, complete healing and provision. Lord, ikaw po ang sa desires niya and for her needs and uh, we entrust uh, her prayers to you, Lord. For Conrad Baron, healing from cancer of the throat. O oh God, wala pong imposible sa inyo, Lord. Uh, lahat po ng mga sakit, I know, Lord, that you are more than able to heal them, O oh God. For Anilin Mendoza, complete recovery and provision. Lalo na po, Lord, sa Bills Hospital, O oh God. Uh, Lord, uh, there's nothing impossible in your name, Lord. Uh, I know, Lord, that you will meet everything they need, O oh God, especially uh, sa financial aspects, Lord. And I also pray for Christopher Gabalio, uh, lalo na po na may uh, uh, stage 4 chronic kidney disease siya. O oh God, uh, we entrust his life to you, O oh God. Lord, complete healing upon him, O oh God. We rebuke lahat ng mga uh, infirmities, lahat ng mga sakit sa kanyang katawan, O oh God. We rebuke this in Jesus' name, O oh God. 
and uh, for Nolan Chan Albay, uh, good health and welfare of God. Lord, uh, ikaw po ang nakakaalam sa pangangailangan niya, Lord, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. Lord, uh, ikaw po ang mag-move sa kanyang buhay, oh God. And I also pray for Rizel Almario, complete healing and uh, complete healing from cervical cancer stage 3. Yes, Lord, uh, we entrust her life to you, oh God. Walang imposible sa pangalan mo, Lord. And for Ramil Cos, complete healing from kidneys. Yes. And also, Lord, uh, nor normal creatinine level, oh God. Uh, ikaw po ang mag-restore, Lord, sa normal function ng kanyang kidney, oh God. And uh, kung ano mga mga anomalities sa kanyang dugo, oh God. I pray for uh, normal creatinine level. And for uh, Riona Judag. Jugadora, complete healing and fast recovery. Yes. Lord, uh, kung ano man ito mga specific na sakit na nasa kanilang katawan ngayon, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. And I also pray for Jedidaya Mones, uh, complete healing from body pain, flu, and over fatigue. Lord, uh, give Give her the strength, oh God. Uh, give him the strength, oh God. Restore his strength, and uh, I also pray for uh, negative swab test, Lord, from uh, and uh, protection for family. Protect uh, his whole family, oh God, and uh, cover them with your precious blood. And I also pray for Frankie Aguilar, complete healing, oh God, uh, for being positive in COVID, Lord. Wala pong imposible sa yung pangalan. Uh, complete healing, Lord, lalo na po emotionally. Physically, mentally, oh God, uh, comfort him. And also for Elaine Bonto, uh, comfort her, oh God. Lalo na po, uh, na nakakafit siya ng depression ngayon. In Jesus' name, Lord, ikaw po ang mag-move sa kanyang puso at sa kanyang isipan, oh God. Uh, remind her, Lord, na andyan ka, na uh, always ready to answer her and uh, to heal her. Oh God, uh, ikaw po ang magpapadala sa kanya ng mga godly people, Lord, to yes. help her remind of your love, O oh God, for her. And I also pray, Lord, for the very family of Abordo, family, O oh God, comfort, O oh God, sa kanilang puso, isipan, O oh God. And um, I know, Lord, na ikaw po ang mas nakakaalam kung ano pong nafe-feel nila sa uh, sa moment na ito, O oh God. And uh, we entrust this family to you, Lord. And Lord, uh, we entrust everything to you, Lord, lalo na nitong mga a list of prayer requests and Lord, uh, we believe that there is nothing impossible in your name, O oh God. And uh, Lord, above all else, let your will be done, Lord, sa, sa buhay namin, O oh God. Give us the strength uh, to overcome everything that we will be encountering, O oh God, sa, sa buhay namin. And I also pray, Lord, for strength to persevere. And uh, also, Lord, for the patience to wait, Lord, sa mga answers ng mga uh, prayers namin, O oh God. Uh, we lift you up and we glorify your name, O oh God, and we thank you for the answered prayers. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, and we bring you back all the glory, honor, praises, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty holy name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord, you are the giver and the giver of life, the source of everything that we have, O oh God. Lord, we acknowledge, Lord God, that apart from you, we are nothing, O oh God. Lord, right now, Father, we lift up, Lord God, ang mga kapatid po namin, Lord God, na wala pong trabaho, Panginoon, as of the moment, Lord. Lord, give them hope, O oh God. Give them, Lord God, the perseverance to pray, the perseverance, Lord God, to wait in everything that they ask, Lord. Amen. I pray, Lord God, that in this waiting time, Lord God, we believe, Lord, na nag apply po silang lahat, Panginoon. That in this waiting time, Lord, they can see how you move in their life. That in everything that they have right now, there is a purpose, Panginoon. And in this time of waiting, Lord, they will see, Lord God, how you will provide all the needs that they have, Lord. Because you are the source of everything, O oh God. Lord, I pray specifically, Panginoon, kay Brother Al, Robert Gayete, Brother Joko Peligro, Mary Grace, Lord, Sister Rona, Sister Maggie, Sister Janice Viado, Sister Jane, Sister Victorine Agolan, Sister Kat, Sister Jelly Abba, Marvick Corriehe, Gemma de Makili, Ma Michael Tan, Janeline Laurete, Chris Achenza, Reina de Guzman, Me, Brother Miko for the visa processing, Sister Joyce, Lord, for the job security, Lord, 
Sister Rona for prayer to work for Jingle, prayer na makabalik siya sa Abu Dhabi at makapag-work. Sister Mary Joyce Dayo Bautista, prayer na mabayaran siya ng company ng full and final settlement. Sister Relay, promotion at work and the success of their application in going to another country. Father Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, marami pa po kami mga kapatid, Lord God, na hindi na kasama sa listahan na ito, Panginoon. We pray, Father God, that you will touch the companies, Panginoon, na pinag a po nila, Lord God. That one day, Lord, they will have an interview, Panginoon, at makakapasa po sila sa interview. At Lord, yung benefits, Lord, yung pinagpe-pray po nila na benefits, na salary, Panginoon, Lord God. Yun po, Lord God, ay mag-meet, Panginoon, yung will mo, Lord God, sa buhay po nila, Panginoon. Lord, the reason kung bakit po kami ng ibang bansa, Panginoon, because you know, Lord God, that we want to help our family, Panginoon, back home, oh God, and also, Lord God, to, to prepare our future. But Lord, you are the holder of our future. You are the holder of our life, Lord. That's why, Lord, we pray na mga kapatid kong ito, Panginoon, is they will continue their faith to you, oh God. They will continue to pray, Lord God, whatever your will happen in our life, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, let let we, Lord God, they will understand, Lord, have this heart, oh God, of hope to you, Jesus. Bigyan mo sila ng puso, Panginoon, ng may, may uh, pananampalataya, Lord God, na sa'yo lamang kami aasa sa lahat, Panginoon. I pray also, Lord, for those people around them, oh God, that they will be, Lord God, someone who will help them, Lord, to, to lead them Unto your will, Panginoon. Lord, use people around them, Father God, so that these CVs, Lord God, will be known to their companies, Panginoon, in Jesus' name. Lord, move in their lives, Lord. Hindi po maiksin yung kamay, Panginoon, para magmanifest, Panginoon, yung, yung kapangyarihan mo sa buhay po nila, Father God. Thank you so much, Lord. And Lord, for the answered prayer, we are so grateful, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, because we believe, Lord God, that you will answer these prayers in your perfect timing, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord God. Thank you so much, Lord. We pray din po, Panginoon, in my list, Lord, yung mga kabayan namin, Lord God, na nasa Qatar, na hindi pinapasahod ng tatlong buwan, Panginoon. Lord, we pray that they will be they will win lord god sa case against the agency lord at your provision will be upon them panginoon i pray for brother baloyat marvin dilacros carmina viloria tommy and cacabelos sales maria christine baloyat rosette bolay junel pina alexander lubay arceli morales mary ann Cartago, Maria Leia, Kamoy, Andrian, Masilang, Hans Denver, Kabay, Darin, Carl, Sobide, Michael, Tolin, Christian, Carl, Cano, CJ, Manzano, Vicente III, Gulay, Arne, Mentuya, Rodel, Pandian, Raymark, Father God, Lord, we believe, Lord, that they are affected in this pandemic, Panginoon. Yes. Lord, my, my heart is crying, Panginoon, with those people. But, Lord, I pray that, Lord, instill in their hearts the hope, Lord, the faith na magkaroon po sila. That every situation, Lord God, there is hope. In every situation, meron ka pang pagtuturo, Panginoon. Hayaan mo na makita po nila in this situation na manampalataya sila sa inyo. At umasa po sila sa inyong kapangyarihan, Panginoon, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let your provision will be upon them, Panginoon. Na maraming tao, Lord, I pray for generous heart, Lord. Sa amang lugar sila, gumamit kayo ng mga tao to help them, Lord, Lord God, na makakain po sila. At ikit sa lahat, makuha po nila yung dapat, Lord God, na makuha nila sa company, Panginoon. At kung will mo na makauwi po sila sa Pilipinas, Lord God, I pray that you will... You will use people, Panginoon, na makauwi po sila sa Pilipinas ng safe and sound, Panginoon. I pray, Lord, I believe marami pong naapektuhan ng pandemic na ito. Hindi lang po sa church na ito, hindi lang po sa bansang ito. But Lord, sa buong mundo, Panginoon, may mga tao, Lord God, na affected, na nawalan ng trabaho because of this pandemic. I pray in Jesus' name, Lord God, that give them the wisdom. Magkaroon sila ng diskarte, Panginoon, sa buhay. That life must go on because we have you, Jesus. Na hindi po kami magkaroon ng 
ng, na, ng hopeless case. Hindi po kami, hindi po kami matakot, Panginoon. Pagkos, give them the wisdom on how to move on, Lord God, kung paano lumaban sa buhay na ito, Panginoon. Give them, Lord, yung, yung discarte sa buhay, Panginoon, na hindi po sila lamang um, walang magagawa. Pagkos, give them this heart to persevere in Jesus' name, to, deter to have this determination to live life with you, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for talents to be discovered. I pray for resources. Yung, yung instill mo na talent na meron sila, yung wisdom, yung knowledge, Lord, they will be activated right now in Jesus' name, Panginoon. Gamitin mo lahat ng social medias, Lord, yung YouTube, para sila po'y malift up, Lord, at magkaroon ng, ng hope na gagawin sa buhay na ito kahit na walang trabaho, Panginoon. In the name of Jesus, instill in their hearts, Lord, yung, may, may, yung puso na may diskarte, Panginoon, in Jesus' name. Salamat, Panginoon, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. At ganun din, Lord, sa lahat ng nagtatrabaho, Panginoon, I pray for the protection of all of us na nag-work, lumalabas araw-araw, Panginoon. Let the blood of Jesus will be upon us all sa skwelahan, sa mall, sa hospital, Panginoon. Yung mga estudyante, mga guro, lahat ng lumalabas sa bahay araw-araw sa opisina, Panginoon. Lord, we pray also, Father God, that you will protect us, Lord God, from any works of enemies, Lord God, that we declare that we are all COVID-free in Jesus' name, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, from head to toe, Panginoon, lahat po kami, Panginoon, na lumalabas, nagtatrabaho, na ginagamit mo to meet the needs of the people all over the world, Panginoon, are protected by your blood, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, salamat, Lord God, sa sa good health na meron po kaming lahat. Amen. We pray, we believe, Lord God, na kaparaanan niyo lahat and kayo po ang nagkukontrol ng lahat, Panginoon. We trust you, Lord, that you are in control of every situations na meron po kami, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord God. Salamat sa puso ng pagpapagal. Salamat, Lord God, Amen. for continuing, Lord God, to pray for one another because we believe, Lord God, that all of us needs our communication with you. At ito pong nagpapalakas po sa amin araw-araw, Panginoon. Thank you so much, Lord. We trust to you everything. We live up everything sa inyo. Lahat po ng aspeto ng buhay namin. Emotionally, spiritually, Lord God. Physically, Lord God. Psychologically, Panginoon. Lahat, Panginoon. We trust you, Lord God. We lift this prayer and we still this prayer with a grateful heart and hopeful heart that more testimony will come and glorify the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord. We give you all the glory and praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Lord, as we continue to acknowledge your presence in the midst of us tonight, we know and gusto ka namin papasalamatan ng gusto, Lord God. Salamat ng marami, Lord, that despite of everything that we are experiencing right now, you are still able to sustain us, Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat na sa kabila ng pagbabanta nitong sitwasyon na meron ngayon, yung buong mundo, Lord God, you are giving us the peace of mind na kailangan namin, Lord, to survive. Amen. And salamat ng marami, Panginoon, for the safety that you're providing to all of us and to all of our family members, Lord, around the world, Panginoon. Lord, for tonight, patuloy kaming lumalapit sa inyo at nagpapakumbaba, Panginoon. Lord, as you said sa 2 Chronicles 7.14, that if we will just humble ourselves, Lord God, your people, your children, Lord, and call out your name, Lord God. You will heal our land, Father. Lord, we are continuously asking, Lord, for your mercy and grace, Lord God. Amen. Na patuloy niyong gamutin yung buong mundo, Panginoon, not just for this physical healing na kailangan ng lahat, Lord God, but also dun sa mga tao na apektuhan emotionally. Amen. Especially those people, yung mga kapatid namin, Lord God, who are being affected spiritually, Panginoon. Lord, we are continuously praying for all of their healing, Lord God. Amen. For all of us to be healed, Lord God, from inside out, Panginoon. Amen. 
And Lord, tinataas namin sa inyo yung buong mundong ito, Lord God. Yung bawat bansa, Lord God. Yung bawat namumuno, Lord God. We declare the spirit of unity coming from you alone, Lord God. Especially sa bansa namin sa Pilipinas, Panginoon. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. That you will give your unity, Lord God. The spirit of unity coming from you, Lord. Amen. Na instead na mag, 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 magsiraan, Lord God, mag, mag, magkaroon ng condemnation, Lord, sa ginagawa ng bawat isa, Lord God, we pray na magkakaroon ng unity at pagkakaisa, Panginoon, to face and survive this kind of situation we're in, Panginoon. And Lord, lastly, ginataas ko sa inyo yung lahat ng mga anak mong tinawag, Panginoon, Lord, kami mga anak mo na tinatawag na Kristiyano, Lord God, sa buong mundo, Lord God. We are praying for all, for each and every one, Lord God, around the world to become one in prayer, Lord God. To have this persistence, Lord God, sa pagpe-pray, Lord God, na patuloy nyo kaming gabayan, ingatan, Lord God. Lord, patuloy nyo kaming buhusan ng pagmamahal mo, Panginoon. Lord, we are especially praying sa aming church, Lord, na pinagkatiwala nyo sa amin, Lord, sa LRC, Panginoon, all over the world. Hallelujah. Lord, we are praying Amen. sa aming mga pastor ni Tinalganyo, Lord God, na mamuno sa amin Amen. sa pagsunod sa will ninyo, Lord God. Amen. We are praying that you will continue to give them the heart, Lord God, yung, yung puso na kayo lang yung sinisik, Lord God, Amen. yung kayo lang yung nahanap at kayo lang yung gustong sundin, Panginoon. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we are praying for their physical strength, Amen. emotional strength, and spiritual strength, Lord God. Amen. That no matter how hard Satan tried to bring them down, Lord God, they will continue to rise up, Lord God, and build your kingdom here on earth, Panginoon. Lord, we are praying dito sa aming pastor, Lord God, kay Pastor Bobby, Lord God, kay Mommy Grace, and kay Christina, may Panginoon. We are continuously praying for them. For them to be covered with your precious blood at all times, Lord God. Na kahit anong bato ng kalaban, Lord God, they will continue to stand their ground, Lord God, fighting with you. Because they know, Lord God, they will always feel that you are fighting with them, Lord God. Panginoon, we are also praying with a humble heart, Lord God. Kami mga leaders niyo, Panginoon, na tinawag ninyo, Lord God, that you chose to lead your people, Lord God, into worshiping you, into knowing your name. Panginoon, patuloy niyo kami bigyan ng mas mababa pang puso, Panginoon. Amen. Patuloy niyo kami bigyan pa ng submissive na spirit, Lord God, na mas gugustoy namin tignan kayo, Lord God, kesa makita yung mga bagay-bagay, Lord God, na hindi naayon sa inyo, Panginoon. Lord, cover our ears from anything na pwede namin marinig na hindi galing sa inyo, Lord God. Cover our mouth from anything that we might say, Lord God, na hindi galing sa inyo, Panginoon. And cover our eyes from anything that we might see na hindi nyo kagustuhan, Panginoon. Lord, hayaan mong lahat kami mga leaders, Lord God, mula sa aming pastor hanggang sa bawat servants ng church na ito, Panginoon. Yes. We'll just continue to serve out of our love for you, Panginoon. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord, and we continue you, to lift you up yes. sa bawat lugar na pupuntahan namin and to introduce you to all the people that we will meet, Lord God. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat for everything, Lord God. We continue to declare your goodness, your greatness, your love for, for everyone, Lord God, all around the world. And we continue to lift you up in this place tonight, Jesus. Maraming maraming salamat. We continue to give you all the glory, all the honor, praises, highest adoration to your name alone, Jesus, with the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We will continue to close our eyes for a moment. We will continue to... Uh, uh, bow down our head and thank be, have a thankful heart. Panginoon, sa gabing ito, salamat po in advance sa lahat ng mga prayer ay tinas namin sa inyo, Panginoon. We believe, Lord God, that uh, lahat ng aming tinas sa inyo right now is nakarating po sa trono ninyo, Panginoon. And we will declare your goodness, your faithfulness, sa mga buhay namin. Sa lahat po, Panginoon, ng mga tao, Lord God, na hanggang ngayon, is na dyan po, nakikinig, nanonood sa amin, we pray that you will continue to bless them. But especially, mga kapatid namin, Panginoon, na nasa Pilipinas, na nakafocus pa right now. Lord, bless them mightily, Lord. Lahat po ng mga tao na na dyan pa sa, sa aming uh, live streaming, salamat po sa mga buhay nila. We bless our uh, pastors from Alain, Pastor Jomar, Pastora Marisa, 
Thank you Lord God sa mga buhay nila. Sister Myra and Brother Milo in Dubai, thank you Lord sa mga buhay nila, sa mga leaders nila roon Lord. Then si Pastor Pei, thank you Lord sa buhay niya, sa Davao Panginoon. Si Pastor Joel at Pastora Dang Panginoon sa Takurong. Then si Pastor Iris at Sister Lovely sa US Panginoon. Lord God, lahat po ng LRCians, lahat po ng mga viewers namin, yung dalawang pong bago po Panginoon. We have 20 new viewers, new uh, first timers today, Lord. We pray that you will bless them. We pray, Lord God, that everyone, Lord God, will be blessed because of your goodness na patuloy namin dinideclare sa buhay namin, Panginoon. Nawapatuloy, Lord God, na yung communication namin sa inyo hindi mawala. At bigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon na madevelop pa ang aming prayerful life in your name, Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon, tonight. We will declare your goodness, your faithfulness in our ministry that you have entrusted us and especially, Lord God, in the respective lives na meron kami with our loved ones and our family. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you so much. In Jesus' name. And everyone will say, Amen. 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 So let's have a um, victorious night before yes. we end. Amen. Come on, let's worship the living God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. One, two, three, four.
Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all in Jesus' name. Amen.